line. Paul takes it away. Galvin will chip it up by his foot race for the puck. And Paul had the angle. Galvin knocked down by Rogers. Peter Kalis will let Milroy cross the enemy line. And it. Taken away now by Nathan Smith. Smith looking for some room to center. Chips it through and they score! Off the traffic and in. Smith the patient hands behind the net. Well, a nice redirect in front of the net. As you mentioned, very good patience with the puck, but I'll show you what happens here if we get a good replay. The youngster Blatchford's gonna go back for the puck initially. He's got some pressure on him, and he's gonna let the puck go. He doesn't want to get hit here in this situation. He just lets it go, and that will cost the Wolves. Here's Smith. Good hands, holds, holds. Milroy in front, Kalis in front. And look at Milroy, just find his stick through the legs wow. of Hunt. And the feed was to that area. That's all you can really do, hoping. And a nice redirect, but that play should never have happened. Duncan Milroy will get his 11th goal this season. And Houston gets the opening marker. Boy, Archer's cool, he's got soften those hands up when he receives passes. So many just chisel off his stick blade. And it was a nice play by Vizneski offensively, and then held on to it patiently instead of just throwing it blindly. And back to his partner with a firm pass, and he couldn't handle it. Vindoni at center will dump it in. Jamie Hunt moving it to Postma. Strides up ice. Crab on the backhand, trying to chip it free to Crawford. Comes away with another quick receiver. He shoots, yes. he scores! What a bit of a play, and I honestly, I, I thought this was offside. I really did. Tim Stapleton waiting it out with a beautiful, beautiful feed by Jason Crowd. Here we go, set the table, Peter Benito. Hunt to his partner, Polska. So all six guys touch it. Yes, they do. Good. Now, you flip it to Crowd. Look where Crowd was when he received that pass, and he makes a beauty, and that's a better play by Stapleton, just holding and waiting it out. And he goes, water bottle. Boing. Oh, man. Well, you won't see too many goals where all six players touch the puck in sequence. That is the perfect breakup. <laughs> and a one-on-one -on -one tie now. 26 goals on the campaign for Tim Stapleton, second only to Brett Sterling out with injury. To be Kevin Dole is going to lead it off for Chicago. So the Wolves electing on home ice to shoot first, and Kevin Dole, three for eight on the year, will go first. Anton Hudovin looking on. It'll be interesting to see how he plays. He's, uh, yep. Is he going to be deeper in the net? We were talking about that earlier. Or does he come well out, challenge, and move back in the net? He's very quick. So Let's I expect him to come out and challenge. Let's have Kevin Dole do this for his parents here in town. He said it in the intermission. We need to score goals or my parents might not come back. <laughs> well, Kevin Dole will get the first crack at it. The right-hander brings it right down the gut. Out is it over and he makes the saves that rolled away from Kevin Dole. I think Kevin got into a situation where he got uh, he, he wanted to deke initially, and Hanovin didn't move back, and he wanted to shoot, and just lost control of it, so not really even a shot on it. John DeSalvador will be the first shooter for Houston, two for five on the season. The captain will bring it in, the right-handed shot quickly, fires, he scores! That's a beauty under the bar, you can hear it. The Wolves had plenty of bars in this game, but haven't had the luxury of the carom. Salvatore moves in, drops down. That puck was on end, too. And boy, he placed it perfectly. So Jason Craw will go for Chicago. One for four on the season. Craw, they'll bring it in, picks up some speed, fires low, and it's off the blocker, Hedobin. Good stop for Hedobin. I think it was uh, in between her. He'd like to get this lower or higher, not right in the area of the blocker. Hedobin didn't even have to move. He just angled his blocker to the corner. Jandau, one for four in the air, will bring it in. Fires off the mitt of Menino. That's not what I did on Menino, but uh, <laughs> Dau with a glove hand. A tenth and a good stop by Menino. Andrew Kozik will be the third round shooter for the Wolves, who trail by a goal. Kozik bring it in, fires, he scores! Kozik, two for four in the air now. Oh, he can rip it. 
comes down quickly, and that's what I like. I like a guy that comes down and has some speed behind him. It uh, makes the goaltender move quicker and make faster decisions, and what a wrist shot that is. Rao will be the shooter for Houston, two for four on the air, weaving in, Deacon Menino slides and kicks the leg up for good measure. Oh, he had to stay with it, got his legs all the way through his crease into the post area, and he might have hurt himself a bit on that. He had to extend his body all the way across. Tim Stapleton tying the game, three for eight on this season, brings in, shoots, he scores! Another ripper for the blocker's side. Prague the went there first, the last two have scored. Kozik and Stapleton. Maxime Norrell, the leading goal scorer for defenseman in the AHL, brings in, fakes a slap shot, deeps back in, quick, get it to go. And the Wolves can win here with the goal in the fifth round, leading 2-1. Peter's just taking all that experience I gave him the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Anderson picked up the winner against Lake Erie. He will bring it in. Oh. Lost the handle, finds it, oh. shoots, he scores! And the Wolves pick up a 2-1 win! I wonder if that was in the game plan. A little drop pass to his foot and then kick it back up. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't. It ends up being a winner. He goes the opposite way after three consecutive shots by the Wolves to the blocker side. Anderson, a different angle and look, goes low to the glove side for the victory. So the losing streak ends at one. Yeah, look at this though, that kick up goal. He almost lost control of it, then a beautiful play. Got himself back into the middle of the ice and ripped it top shelf. Well, nice win for the Wolves who pick up the two points and they were trailing heading into the final frame.